it's a nice sunny day. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to give the bike a wash down. It's had its first week of use since well lockdown and the winter weather. So I'm going to go around just check the various bolts and things, just make sure everything's nice and secure. This is where I'm mounting the camera now. Now previously the camera mount was down here onto the bolt that holds this bracket on. So of course the camera sat up above here. Now we can't have that anymore because we've got the screen. So we've had to go back to the handlebar. Now this it actually films pretty well, but what I want, to, I want to do is just turn it slightly more. So the, the choice of attachments you can get in the UK is actually quite limited, but if you go on AliExpress, they've got some weird and wonderful things. So I've got a couple coming that actually have a rotational bit here that you can take the camera. Now with AliExpress, of course, I've got three different mounts coming for a total of £7, which is great, but they could be here any time between next week and May, so it's never a quick thing, but they do have some interesting stuff, so this will just allow me to angle the camera a bit more round to the front for a more face-on view. So we'll do that. Now the next thing is mirrors. Now you'll know from my previous video I've put these mirrors on, and I really like the style and the, the view they give but the vibration on them is not good and I think it's probably because they're plastic made they just vibrate really badly when you're going along so I've decided to take these off and put the stock mirrors back on for the time being but that means I'm going to have to do some work on these connectors because this one has no thread left in it it's completely um, gone and this one is an 8mm thread so there's a reason I can't use that at the moment, which I'll go over shortly. So first up, we're going to take these mirrors off again. I know mirrors are a bit of an obsession of mine, but too much vibration, and that's on a bike going at 30 miles an hour. So heaven knows what I like on a bike going 70, 80, 90 miles an hour. Right. So as the thread in this is completely crossed and no use. I'm going to have to do what I did before and bolt a cannibalised mirror mount onto here. So this has got an 8mm thread in it which takes the stock mirrors. It did have a 10mm thread coming off here but we've cut this off, drilled a hole through it and run a bolt through. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to pack this full of steel stick and then drill a hole through it that will take this, this um, bolt just to give it a bit more stability. Now the problem is I'm going to have to do exactly the same over here because although this thread is okay I can't really just screw the mirror in because then it's going to be one's going to be higher than the other and that's going to look a bit odd. So we're going to do exactly the same here. Pack this out with steel stick, drill a hole, thread the bolt through, clean it up underneath. It's a bit of a faff but it will need to get the stock mirrors back. So the steel stick is just a compound or epoxy resin compound you mix together in your fingers and pack in there. So I'll show you when it's done. Alright, so that's both holes filled top and bottom with the steel stick. This takes about an hour to fully cure. So while it's curing we can go and get on with the get the bike a clean. And then we'll get the bitters put back on. Right, so I stay up on a third floor and there's no water supply down here. So for cleaning, I use a bottle of this stuff. Now this is Williams Waterless wa Wax and Wash. Try saying that after a pint or two. There's other different kinds of this, but it's quite good because you just spray it on. Um, you can then, it takes, it lifts the dirt off the bike and also waxes it and shines it. And it looks pretty good and it means you don't have to have a huge water supply down if you're cleaning your bike. So there's other kinds of this available, but Williams Waterless wa Wax and Wash is what I use. Worth a try. So all you're doing is giving it a good, a good coating of the wash and wax, and then we're going to just take a microfiber cloth, rub this in, it'll get all the dirt off. And then once we've done that with a clean cloth, we'll just buff up all the plastics, uh, the metal work and things, and it's going to look nice and shiny. 
and it also helps protect against dirt and debris and other kinds of stuff. Good stuff. Right, so that's it all worked in. Now you just get a clean cloth and buff the whole thing up. One thing I should say, don't get any on your seat. Uh, you'll be sliding about all over the place. The seat is one thing you don't want to put uh, wash and wax on. But anyway, it does bring up a nice shine. It'll look even better in a minute or two when it's buffed up. Okay. So that's us done. Nice and shiny. Don't want to doubt pour the rain next week, of course, but that's what happens. A bolt check's worth doing. These ones here, I mean they weren't ridiculously loose but they weren't as tight as they could be. This one up here looks like it's slipped its thread. So what I'm going to have to do is put a little nut behind here so I can tighten this on again because the, the built-in sort of nut here is obviously the thread is gone. These all needed a wee tighten up here and there but nothing major. Everything else is, is pretty secure and looks safe to go. So, right, pesky mirrors next. Okay, so we've drilled a wee hole through the steel stick, same sort of width as this, just provides a bit more stability. I'm going to drop that in. Yeah, there we are. We bolt it through the bottom here, we can hacksaw this excess off. It's not going to interfere with the, the brake or anything anyway. And then the mirror goes in there. And that way we can put the stock mirrors back on with a strip thread in here and we'll do the same for the other handlebar. I've got obviously washers and a little nut here which has the nylon insert just for extra grip worth using. Okay. Right, that's worked really well. That's absolutely solid. Tightened down, bolted through, not interfering with anything. So what we can do now is put the 8mm mirrors back in here and then tighten down the bracket to secure them. Always using some blue Loctite threader which just gives that extra bit of stability. Okay, so we'll do that and then I'll show you the finished result. Right, I had a wee change of plan here because I found when the mirror was on this was still spinning slightly which still is a little bit but I've put a washer in and also covered everything with blue thread lock tighten that as much as I could. I was looking maybe for a felt or a rubber washer might have been better but I don't have one so we'll try a metal washer and thread lock if it works it works if it doesn't well we can I can get a rubber or a felt one to put on there it might grip a little bit better it's just because it's I think polished so anyway thread lock through everything blue thread lock tightened up mirror on um, we'll see how it is once that's a time to dry Exactly the same for the other side, just a washer in there, lots of blue thread lock, and that's it. So, stock mirrors back on. Right, stock mirrors back on, bike cleaned. That's today's work. Any updates, I'll let you know. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you can, keeps me going. Uh, all the best, everyone, as usual especially those with help and advice uh, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers now.